guys so welcome to this lesson uh if this is your first lesson uh, this is the second part of uh, a two-part class where we are, we are learning the pentatonic scale so you can check the first part yeah so in the first part we learned we learned uh, the first three shapes of the pentatonic scale and we learned it in the key of a we learned it in a uh, just a recap we learned this shape over here and then the next one starting from here sorry second position the third position we learned this okay yeah that was the third position so after this third position we're going to learn the fourth one the fourth one and then uh, the fifth so in this lesson we'll learn, learn only two so let me play it for you and then uh, i'll do it slowly so from the top it will go like this it will look like this we said we are trying to assign every fret to its finger so i'll start over here it's white remember what we learned uh, in the first class so i'll play this note then the next one will be over here so and then i'll do the same thing to the next string wide over here and then it narrows and then narrow again and then the next no one will be narrow but we'll move it like this after this we'll play this so then here and then the next one let me do it slowly fourth shape now let's go to the fifth and the last shape remember we said where the previous shape ended is where we'll continue with the next shape so for example the one you have the one we have learned just uh, now ended over here so the next one will begin from here so that so let me do this so it will be narrow for the first two strings like that and then and then the next one it will widen so it will, it will look like this so after one 
the same way the same shape like that and then it will narrow again for the last two strings i think this one is easy to to learn so then to a dance then it narrows then play it from the bottom again practicing for long that sound of the pentatonic scale will get into your head such that if you just hear it somewhere you just know as the pentatonic scale there's a way you just know it uh, because of how much you've practiced and how that sound has gotten into your head so that's the last shape so our last shape has been over here and you have said after the last shape we'll go back to the first shape remember the first shape now for the first shape we'll just connect it right after after here after this after this the, the, this is the fifth shape the next one will just begin here now we'll just play the first shape but of but starting over here so that means we have gone a whole octave a whole octave so remember the first shape just look at it and, and see that it looks the same it's the same just that the position is different we played it over here but now we are playing it over here after here we'll just play the next shape the second one and then the third until we are out of frets so i know you know uh it can it can seem a bit confusing and uh, a bit overwhelming but trust me it's worth it uh, when i started playing it took me quite some time to get it under my fingers and uh just had to practice and practice a lot so i think what i will tell you is don't give up just try your best and learn the whole thing the same way with the major scale after getting the major scale and the pentatonic in your fingertips that will be a good a, a huge step when it comes to learning worship guitar and learning seven because i just wanted to do this lesson so that uh, in the future maybe when we are looking at something and you hear the pentatonic scale maybe you don't know what it is so at least you'll have an idea and at least you'll know what we are doing yeah so that is it for this class i'll just uh, ask that you practice it just practice it. just play the scale from 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 from, from the top to the bottom go to the next shape like that and i know you'll you'll have made a huge step so thank you and uh, keep practicing we have learned several things already in the seven guitar series and the worship series so we have in the worship series we have learned the the chords uh, the pentatonic scale and we have also learned uh, the techniques that you can use for example slide 
uh, harm our own pull-offs because they are, they'll be helpful. If you at one time you would like to be a great guitar player, uh, those are the things that you'll be using. So okay, let me say there's no sh- short shortcut, but uh, <coughs> I will just advise that you don't give up. Yeah, don't give up. It's it may seem challenging, but it's worth it. So thank you. I see you in the next class. And for everyone who has not subscribed, I would appreciate if you subscribed and a uh, thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you can let me know what you think of this lesson in the comment section and how you would like me to help you. Yeah. Thank you and God bless you.